Steve Lewis here with Relevance for today. I'm in Grand Falls in Canada. Wife's getting her nails done. That's why I'm always here anyway, right? Come out here, hang out. Barb gets her nails done. I take the video camera, go shoot a podcast. It's all about getting out there, folks, being a light to this world in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a great thing. It's a good thing. So with that being said, I'm here to tell you all, be encouraged today, share the word of God, be a light in this dark world. I'm telling you right now, you can light one candle in a dark room and you know the rest of the story. The whole room will be lit up. Many of you have gifts out there that you're not using. I'm encouraging you right now, get out there and use your gifts. You understand? Get out there and use your gifts out in the world, hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Get out there, be a light, go out there, put the feet to faith. You have faith, you believe in Jesus Christ, get out there and show the world. People need to see Jesus Christ in you, the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. Let him shine, stop putting a cover on it. You know that song. Hide it under a bush, oh no, I'm gonna let it shine. You know, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. You know, this little light of mine. You guys know the song. Don't get me singing out here in Canada. But the bottom line is, I wanna encourage you right now. Many of you are sitting on your gifts. <laughs> of course, when I thought about sitting on your gifts, I mean sitting on your tushes instead of getting out here and doing what you've been called to do. Because I'm telling you right now, many of you have amazing gifts. People are missing out on the gifts that you have because you're not using them. You know what I mean? Even if it's a gift of encouragement. Remember, Barnabas was an encourager. He come alongside Paul, he helped encourage him so the apostles could trust him and know who he was which also built Paul up as he went out to do what God called him to do. So he also used his giftings. So keep that in mind, giftings, everybody has a gift of some type, whether it's a gift of hospitality, it might be the gift of speaking, the gift of healing, all kinds of gifts. You can read about those in the word, but you need to get out there. I'm pointing, I'm pointing at you and like Tommy Donaldson said, when you're pointing at someone, those other three are pointing right back at you, so I'm also pointing at me when I say we need to get out here and use our gifts to be a blessing in this world. Watch the news for five minutes. Do you really think the world is doing really great? We need to get out there and be a light. In this dying world, the prince of this world, the prince of this earth, Satan, he's still running around trying to do what he can, before the end time is here. Are we living in the end times right now? You can better believe it. And when you read the word of God, it says the time's getting closer. So it's closer now than it was when you're reading it in the Bible. So keep that in mind. Get out there, folks. We need to get out here, be a light, share the word of God. You scared to share the gospel? You have to get out there and do it. Don't you wanna do it? Don't you want to go out there and say, hey, I've got news for you. I've got news that can change your life forever. It's the gift of salvation through Jesus Christ. It's free to you. It costs him a lot. Get out there, share what you have. Share your testimony. You don't have to get out there and start talking in Elizabethan English. Just because the King James was written in Elizabethan English doesn't mean you have to get out there and speak that way. But the bottom line is, what's your testimony? How were you saved? How has Jesus Christ changed your life? Get out there and share that. That's all you have to do, it's that easy. It's like going in, let's say some of you know how to cook really well. Some of you know how to make things out of wood. Some of you know how to work on vehicles. If someone asks you about that vehicle, how do you change the oil? Some of you could rattle it off real quick. Yeah, you go in there, you wanna take the filter, you wanna get a pan underneath the vehicle, you wanna jack up the vehicle, make sure it's solid so it doesn't fall on you. You wanna drain it using the drain plug. You get the oil you need and so forth, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you put the drain plug back in and pour your oil in and do your filter and you're good to go. Some of you can rattle stuff off like that, but why is it we've been Christians, followers of Jesus Christ for years and years and years, and yet we have a hard time sharing the truth about Jesus Christ? Share your testimony, whatever your testimony may be. You know, I was blind, but now I see. Whatever it may be, you know, I grew up in a household where we were all Christians. 
But then I got older and I stepped away from church. I stepped away from the body of Christ. I stepped away from the Word of God. And then something happened in my life and then I came back to Jesus Christ and my life changed forever. Whatever it may be, share your testimony. Focus on your testimony, not anyone else's. Share your testimony. You want some encouragement? Watch some Billy Graham Crusades. Oh my word. I've been watching Billy Graham lately. I've been on this thing. Holy Spirit's got me watching Billy Graham. I'm watching his sermons, listening to his sermons on YouTube, and it's amazing. The man has an altar call. He said it. I will not share from the pulpit without doing an altar call. I will do an altar call every time. Someone gets saved every time that Holy Spirit uses use that man to preach a message. It's amazing seeing all the people come into Christ. They come together, he shares the word, he shares out of the word of God, he shares about Jesus Christ, people get saved. Nathaniel Pemetel, I'm probably saying his name wrong and I apologize Nathaniel or Nathan, but uh, he just went on a crusade to India. Amazing, it was awesome to watch the videos. He was sharing the word of God to people, telling them about Jesus Christ and how they had a savior who came for them and changed their lives. All they have to do is ask him into their lives, repent of their sin. He did that, people in India started coming forth to be saved, amazing amazing how the Holy Spirit used this man. He got up, used his giftings. He got out there, shared the word. People came to Christ. They're going to live through eternity with him. Amazing stuff, folks. So I just want to encourage you with that. Get out there, use your gifts, whatever it may be. Come alongside other people. Come alongside like-minded Christians who their main focus is Jesus Christ and him crucified. Came back, rose from the dead. You and I saved for life. Get out there, share the word, share the message. Going to be with him in eternity, but it sure would be nice if we get out here and start sharing it so others will know the truth as well. Represent, show them Jesus Christ the way we're supposed to be representing him. Picket signs, yelling and screaming, pointing out people's sin is not the answer. Now, if you're in a church building, you know, if you're in a Christian building and you're sitting back in a service and you've got someone who's sinning, yes, you go according to the word of God. That's a different story. But you don't go out here and bash non-believers and be out here in the street. All you're doing is saying, hey, look, you have this wrong with you. You have that wrong with you makes you look like you're perfect. They're on the defense then because they're defending themselves and the end result is they don't want nothing to do with Christians and now they're going to use you as an excuse to not be a follower of Jesus Christ. So be careful when you get out there. They don't need condemned. John 3:17. Jesus did not come to this earth to condemn it but that the world would be saved. Remember that folks. Get out there, share the good news. Do you want anybody pointing out your faults? Well, then be careful pointing out others' faults. Go by the word of God. Remember, hate the sin, love the person. You're going after that person to save their life through the Holy Spirit. That's what you're doing. You're an agent for the Lord. Get out there, do what you're supposed to be doing. Represent, smile a little bit. Don't be stiff in the face and tell people repent or perish and all that good stuff. Meanwhile, you're stuffing down a whole pie for lunch and eating a buffet. Be careful, represent. God bless you guys. You know what, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this opportunity to share right now here in Grand Falls. We got vehicles driving around, the birds are chirping, it's a beautiful day, the water's flowing. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this opportunity to be a blessing, sharing your word. Lord, I just wanna encourage people out there to get out there, share their gifts, show the love of Jesus Christ, share the good news about Jesus. Bless them, protect each and every one of them, Lord. Encouraging, encouraging each and every individual in the comfort of their own home or wherever they're at listening or watching to this video. I thank you for this opportunity. Give them the courage they need to get out here and be a blessing and be a light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you for this opportunity in Jesus' name, amen. There you have it, folks. Get out there, share your gifts, show the love to those who need it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We'll be talking to you later. Share it, comment, share your testimonies. Let me hear how you folks are doing. God bless, take care of yourselves. Peace.